What is going on, everybody? It is your host, with the most, Sorotome. How are you guys doing? Uh, we're going back through 13 Sentinels. Uh, we did the destruction phase two, so we're just really steamrolling through these. And I wanted to check out Yuki, because number one, we finally have her lock unlocked now. And two, her ending kind of was pretty interesting last time, because we found out Erica Iba, which we knew all along was kind of weird. But we confronted her about it. She was, in fact, Jiro Izumi. Uh, fell off the bridge. Pretty much jumped off the bridge. And then, uh, yeah. So, uh, we got some stuff to figure out. Alright. 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 Aiba, where could she have gone? Forget her. I need to find Nachan. Mm -hmm. I should check with Sekigahara if there's been any progress. A city in ruins. And this one's next. Is that what this place is gonna look like? I can't even imagine. That's where Sekigahara was, so we'll see if he has more information. Anyone there? Yes. What do you want? Are you in here? Where is he? He said he was going to be hiding around here. Maybe he's still looking for her. Or maybe he got caught. <sighs> Maybe he's right behind you. Oh uh, no, you're right in front of us. Sekigahara, what happened? The nano machine separation inside the brain is progressing. Oh, shit! So, what is that? Homeboy's mean? about to die, like now. He is in the same condition as Ryoko Shinonome. I still have my memory. I just ran out of my pills. Oh yeah, because you juggled six of them every time you swallow one. Don't worry, I've seen the pill animation. You don't have to, you don't have to lie. Don't mind me. You were searching for Natsunomi Nami. We've determined her location. She's in Sector 3. What? So... Miura? It is only speculation. But there is a high probability that she is there. So no one's confirmed. Okay, great! Let's go get her! Oh, wait. Sekigahara. Go without me. I just needed to tell you. Besides, the black suits are only after me now. It'd be bad if they think you're my accomplice. Better to avoid being seen together at all. Come over here. What is it? What is this thing? Take it with you. I don't know how to use it. You'll need it to save Minami. <sighs> I need to ask you a favor in return. Miura is carrying a message for me. If I were to ever lose my memory, I need you to show me that message. Will you be okay by yourself? <sighs> Myself is just about all I can handle. I'm sure Shinonome's medicine is in the nurse's office. Miura seems to be in a hurry. Please, go with him. Sector 3. Alright. So, where is Nachon? Southeast. 3.2 kilometers. There is an unusual concentration of androids. Great. More of those creepy ass robots. They must have found something. Something? You or mean someone? Not John. This unit possesses no attack capabilities. It is up to you. I know. I won't fail. All right. Let's get after it. I'm ready. Lead the way.
Oh, <laughs> let me guess, she's in the hidey hole? Yep. Oh, how did they not see you? How? Okay. All right. Just walk on about your day. They won't come in here, but if I take even one step outside, they'll attack. Ever since I got here, they just keep on coming. Don't worry, My your best friend's on the way. Yesterday. And now the soda I was taking sips from is empty too. Oh, what should I do? Am I going to die here without anyone knowing? No. Nope. <laughs> Uh. Uh. One more, hold up, hold up. Uh. <laughs> Aim for the battery. Aim for the battery. Oh god. Uh 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 <laughs> okay. I am supposed to know how to use a freaking gun. You point and shoot! You did well. You did well. Alright. No way. Yuki chan! No chan! I'm so glad you're okay. Yuki-chan! I finally found you. You're safe now, alright? I know. But... Why are you here, Yuki-chan? I'd come find you anywhere, Nachan. Even if I have to cross time and space to do it. Oh, Yuki-chan! The Kimbolar's magnetic shield is still active. BJ! It is why the androids could not approach. You came back for me! Mm. Of course. Spell talk must come later. There are four androids approaching. Let's go. No matter what comes our way, I will protect you. With everything I have! <laughs> To the final battle, that's all we get from her, apparently. Alright, that's Takamiya's story done. Alright. Shu, you're up next. Last time we were with him, Tetsuya Ida saw him get into a Sentinel and asked him to cooperate. Obviously knowing Shu, that's not gonna happen. Cool. Cool. For Yuki-chan, cool. <laughs> Those government spooks are keeping an eye on me. At this rate, they could just take me away and nobody would ever know. Mm. Miyuki Inaba was right about ever and beyond. Back in my dream, he called himself. Are you gonna be talking to me, Miss Model on the TV? <sighs> Not here today. In my dream, her soul was in an android body. That's gotta be the craziest feeling. What would it even be like, not having a body of your own? The way Miyuki Inaba tells it, those dreams weren't from the future like I thought they were. They already happened. It's all in the past. So she was watching me this whole time? On behalf of that shady outfit? Is that why she approached me at all? Yuki-chan. No, wait. I'm the one who approached her, and she has to keep an eye on me? Well, hey, maybe this isn't so bad after all. <laughs> so she's been monitoring me this whole time? She's actually some Secret Service government spy? That's crazy. Also, not gonna lie, weirdly hot. <laughs> Heard that. Heard that, Shu. <gasps> oh. shu -kun, please help me. What am I supposed to do? You're on a TV. What? Wait, wait, what do you mean, eliminated? So much I still don't get here. I need a real explanation. I know, but I had to hack my way in to reach you. My connection won't last long. Wait, wait. When you say he, you mean Tetsuya Ida? Yes. Why is he after you? Because I'm helping you. I was right. He 
He's trying to reset Project Ark. He wants to reset it? What would that do? The world would be destroyed by Kaiju. Everything will be gone. They want to start over. They want to restart this world from the beginning. They've done it before. And a reset means you would be erased too. Uh, you're talking about kaiju now? You've already seen them. You mean those things in my dreams? The sentinels were built to fight those kaiju, to defend the world you call home. Ah. Uh. So it's just space beyond the enclosure walls. That means we're in some huge spaceship, right? Why does all of this exist? Why cover up the truth? There is a supercomputer hidden below your town. We call it Universal Control. It has led you to believe you live in Japan, in a certain historical era. Why? Possibly to make your lives easier. Possibly to make you easier to manage. I'm picking the ladder Even on that I one. I tell you the real reason. So why are you trying to help us? You still don't know who I am. Oh, I do, but I don't think he does. You and I have met many times in your dreams. Yeah. Oh, that song from my dream. You don't mean you're. You finally realized this is how I got past universal control. I sang on an inconspicuous broadcast with all my heart, just like I used to. Kisaragi. Yes, it's me, but a different Tomi Kisaragi from the one in your world. I'm not human anymore, just data on a computer. But that's exactly how I can still help you. Oh no, he's at Sector 3's terminal. Help me, Shukun. If we don't stop him, he'll erase me. What should I do? Inside the outer walls. I hid your sentinel ins- Hey! No, come on! Don't leave me hanging like this! <sighs> She's gone. So if Tetsuya Ida's back in Sector 3, that means he's in the ruined feature computer right now. What happens if I go there? So Can it really make a difference? Does that mean, like, Shu himself is in Sector Zero? I can already tell this is gonna be a huge mess. I don't know. Nope. No, a girl has asked for my help. I can't just run away from this. I'll go. And I'll figure out the rest when I get there. Alright. Uh, uh, Shino Nome Hi, Senpai. how are you? The door was locked. How did you get in? I broke the lock. Uh. With that gun? There was an agent, too. I put him to sleep. Oh, right. You were at the park with him. Are you with the Shady Spy Bureau, too? Yes. So, what do you want with me? I need your sentinel. My sentinel? Call it here. That's a thing I can do? I have no idea how. Senpai, I'm sorry, but I've got something I need to do. You want me to shoot you? I have to go stop Ida. Uh, huh? Sounds like we're on the same side. Yes! Yes! Good. Good. Past the tunnel? Yeah. That's where the sentinel's hidden. Apparently. That's some sentinel. It must weigh hundreds of tons. How does it fly in the air? But what I really don't understand is how you controlled it without any problems. Piloting a sentinel damages you. Like what happened to me. So most people can't operate them. What? You mean piloting a sentinel did all that stuff to you? You know, it's not too late to turn back. It is too late. Easy, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna give up now. A girl's in trouble. You know where you're going, don't you, Senpai? There are two terminals that have been analyzed so far. Sector 1 and Sector 3. But we can only get into one of them. That'd be the terminal in Sector 3. Not really sure I'm following here. Mr. Ida was supposed to take me with him, but he took Takamiya-san instead. Yuki-chan? What's he planning with Yuki-chan? He needed biometric ID from one of us. It's the only way he can access the terminal. But now he's put the gate into lockdown. That means a sentinel's the only way to shift in. All right, here we go. It's just up ahead. Wait. Oops. Are you 
okay? Guess I just like to take six pills what at a time. What is this place? The outer walls of the spaceship, I guess. It's a spaceship? What are you talking about? Oh, whoa. Uh, okay, so you never found out that part. <laughs> it's a long story. But this doesn't make sense. How could there be a facility like this in a tunnel? I don't know how, but there is. Let's look for the Sentinel. Well, there's a the Sentinel. It's really here. The one I saw at the park. Miyuki and Abba hid it here. So, now what? Well, activate it. Yeah, but how? How did you do it before? I don't know, it just kind of happened. Uh, what about your activation switch? You should have one somewhere on your body. A switch? Where nanomachines were shot into you. That's where code was injected into your system, so that should be where your switch is. <sighs> oh yeah, I got shot. Mm -hmm. I think she got me right around here? Swipe across it. See if that starts things up. Here goes nothing. Do, 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 do. So I just swipe it like this. Hell yeah, that's cool. Universal control can affect any sector, then. It's not just tied to Sector Zero. There really is more than one enclosure. It's down there. The bottom of that hole is the terminal. Looks like we'll fit right through. I guess we're going down. Found a way through on Shu Amiguchi's Sentinel? I suppose this is because I chose Takamiya-kun over you. Those emotional impulses of yours really do try my patience. That's not why, Mr. Ida. <gasps> You're Tetsuya Ida, huh? I know about you. I've seen a lot of your past. Well, that's inconvenient. She's still transplanting memories, then. Well, I know you, too. Perhaps better than anyone else could. After all, I've known you all your life. Ever since I dropped you off as a newborn. Mm. Dropped me off? I placed you into the Amiguchi family as a child. Then you're saying... You are genetically identical to me. You are Tetsuya Ida. <sighs> Yuki-chan's got nothing to do with this. Let her go! I'm afraid she's a vital part of the process. I need her biometrics to access the computer. You should know this is partly your fault. Up until now, I had simply been borrowing your ID. But then you had to go and access your Sentinel, which means authorization has been restored to you. Yuki-chan, don't worry. We're gonna get you out of this. Amiguchi... 
You have feelings for Yuki Takamiya, I take it? Yeah. I love her. You know, under any other circumstances, it'd be fascinating. Genetically identical, but our experiences made us very different people indeed. A shame. There is nothing you can do to change this. <sighs> Miyuki... Inaba. Ida-kun. So here you are at last. Your singing gave you away. I recognized it instantly. I'm still your biggest fan, believe it or not. Ida-kun, please. Think this over. I have to start things over for the two of us. This is a mistake. I'm afraid you're the one who's mistaken. It's too late. This place will be gone soon enough anyway. Or do you have some other option to share? Even if I did, you wouldn't listen to me. Not the way you are now. Stop! I won't let you erase her! Erase her? Please, I love Tomi Kisaragi. There's no need for anything as drastic as that, but I do need to silence her as a precautionary measure. You can cut off communications, but I'm not going to give up. I don't need to cut off communications. It doesn't matter where you are. After all, you're a Sentinel AI now. She's in a Sentinel? And I happen to have command authorization over the Sentinels. All of them up to number 19. That's impossible. Wait, Edekun, I'm in orbit right now. I'm watching this all from the command ship's computer, and I can see everything. I know what'll happen to that whole area. The reset will change everything. It'll all be broken down and rebuilt, but... Indeed. A new beginning for you and me. Ah. No, you don't understand. Attention! Emergency protocol. Four shut down Sentinel number 16. Uh. She'll be asleep until all of this is over. That's the last variable taken care of. I think our work here is done. Aww. We're returning to Sector 4. And you're coming with us, Shu Amiguchi. As will you, Shinonome-kun. Come on. You know you need me. Uh, uh, hmm? Hey. Really? Uh. That's my girl. We're leaving. Collect the equipment. I know what you've really been trying to do. Back then, all those nights in the lab, you weren't trying to bring her back. You wanted to remake Kisaragi the way you wanted her to be. Ida, you think we're the same person? You're nothing like me! I'd never use a girl as some tool! <laughs> Stop right there! Don't move. Amiguchi-kun, hurry. Right. Yes. You hurt Yuki-chan? Amiguchi. Uh, she no know me. Uh. You can be such an inconvenience. Speaking of. Uh. Amiguchi! Well, that went well. Takamiya-kun, uh. I suggest you come quietly, or Amiguchi will suffer the consequences. You son of a bitch. Yuki-chan, don't risk it. <sighs> if we could hurry this up... On it, sir. What? Huh? Uh, she definitely didn't transfer him back to Sector 4, I know that. shift? Yuki. So this goes there. Okay, nice. So that's all set. Then let's do this. No dice. You need to take this seriously. Hey, you want to do this yourself? Be my guest. Keep it cool. He's doing fine. Fucking fuck both y'all up, dude. Don't even. It doesn't seem as if the director's coming back, which means it may be up to us to find our way back home. Probably best to work together for now. 
So you guys really have no idea how to work all this stuff? Our intel suggested it's just not possible for us. The only ones with clearance and ability are the special miners. But we'll certainly make an effort. Can't your robot do something to solve this? It's capable of transporting us across time, correct? Hell if I know, man. My senpai was the one who set up the time travel. Sure, I can fly the th but I'd have no idea how to get us home. She's been reaching out to me, using my TV set to break through the walls. She's the Tomi Kisaragi I saw in my dreams. The Tomi Kisaragi who has no body left. Just a mind inside a machine. Yuki-chan, I promised I'd save her. I'm going after her, no matter what it takes. How much does your organization know? Do they have any real info on how this place works? Well, it's a UFO made by scientists of the future. Since before our time, it's been buried here, deep underground. Okay, so you're basically clueless. Sound <laughs> about right? He's like, yeah. Come on, out of the way. This is nothing like my microcomputer at home. Damn it. This doesn't look good. I can't help Miyuki and Abba. I can't even go after Yuki-chan. What am I supposed to do here? <gasps> Where'd the console go? Did it work? No. It just started moving by itself. Natsuna? Oh no. Minami? Oh no. Amiguchi-kun? Data unit. This is bad. This is bad. This is really, really bad. Oh, oh come on. All right. There's Amaguchi's done. All right. We seem to have time for one more. Let's do this one for Natsuna. This should be a good spot, right? right? The river's nice and wide. Plus, no one else is around. It shouldn't be a problem if the Sentinel pops up here. Are you going to summon it right now? Perhaps we should wait until nightfall. Well, we're going to send it right back, aren't we? If it's only for a second, then we should be fine. I want to change the registered pilot of Sentinel number 17 to you, Natsuno. Wait, right here? Why? I was previously using Miura's ID. However, the ownership of the ID returned to him. It's because I operated Sentinel number 19. I can no longer pilot a Sentinel. In order to shift to the Sentinel, it must receive a new pilot. But this change comes with a price. It will reset the Sentinel's stored memory. Wait, that's not good. Then, what do we do? We'll transfer all data logs to me. If it's done at the same time we change the registered pilot, I should be able to secure the log data. Good thinking, BJ. Now you know. From now on, Sentinel number 17 will... Right, right, no problem. I'll be the one who pilots the robot, and I'll fight together with my pal BJ. As long as Nachan isn't in any danger. Sentinel number 17 will protect Natsuno. If anything, I should be the one fighting. There is another Sentinel for you. What did you say? You must work together and survive. You know it. Both processes must be performed concurrently. Natsuno, it's time to activate. Okay. Right, where's she at? Dang, that was fast! Now send it back, Nachon. Uh, how do I do that? Huh? It... It disappeared. Does that mean it worked, BJ? BJ? You okay, buddy? Say something. 
He's no longer with us. What? BJ was the only one who could retrieve the log data, but the storage capacity on a scout unit like that is limited. Mm -hmm. He couldn't store both the log data and his own AI data. So in order to make room for the logs, he deleted himself. No. No, you're wrong. He's just fooling around. Come on. Wake up, BJ. BJ. Feels bad. Okay, dang. <laughs> Alright, third. Well, <laughs> that was a really short one. But well, we got one, two, three, four, five. And now we have six character stories done, so we're almost nearing halfway. Almost. But uh, I think that'll do it for this time, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys. Be safe.